This semester, I am taking this unusual English class called Autobiography. At first, I thought it was kind of strange, but actually I'm pretty engaged because it makes you really think and open up about yourself. Our first paper was about a secret life that many people don't know about you. For my secret life, I had a fear of letting down my mom. I was born Alan Hearns on November 12, 1991 in Kansas City, Florida. Go! Just run! Just run! I live with my mother and my older brother. As a child, I was very quiet and reserved. I was known to be the silence before a storm. Hurry up. My personality is very humble and discreet. I had a habit of holding in my inner feelings and deepest secrets. Determination was my mindset. Once I set out to accomplish something, I tried to reach that goal. My personality stems from my surrounding and my morals. Throughout my life, my mother has been the most influential individual on me as a person. She has helped me build character and has impacted my life in so many other aspects. About his younger one? Okay. My mom's name is Erica Wilson. Here, Alan was a couple of months old, maybe about four months old. And Daryl was four. This is Alan. This is my oldest. She always been like a big part of my life. This picture here is our family portrait. Alan here was 14. Daryl was 18. As a single mother um, of Alan, basically I um, was a young mother, 19 years old, with, on my second child. It was very, very trying. The job opportunities wasn't there. It was times where we went without. I knew that I had to push because I had these two kids that I had to raise. College wasn't an option at the time because of um, I had to go ahead and raise my kids. My mom, she didn't go to college and she didn't want me to go down the same step. She was always on top of me of my education. She always taught me that Education comes before football, and you need education to be able to play football. I talked about my fear paper in my autobiography class. For me, I was the first person in my family to go to college because my mom, she had a kid at an early age, so she was forced to grow up early. Just having a high school diploma is not much you can do. So I just felt like she never had a stable job, and it was hard for her. Obviously, she worked hard you know, to raise you, yeah. you can't do better than that. My mom motivates me so much. Seeing her do so much for me and always trying her best, it just makes me a better person because I don't want to let her down. So one of my secret life, I knew like one thing I fear is laying down my mom. To hear that Alan's fear is to let me down, I don't think that that's possible. Actually, he inspired me and still inspires me to this day. Being able to handle everything that he's handling at the University of Miami, as far as like with school, with workouts, with training, with practice and everything. Thank you. Seeing the young man that he's become, I was like, wow. That right there, he's like pushing me to let me know that, Mom, you can do it too. No matter how old you are, you know, you can always go back and live your dream. When I got to college, I guess I motivated my mom. She started going to college and she liked it, like she really liked it. Alan was a big, big motivator for me to go back to school and to push myself and to stay with them. And if I'm telling my kids education first, I must do so, lead by example. Since day one, my mom always prepared me to live my dreams. She was always supportive of me, pushing me to do better. So for me to see her living her dream and chasing her dream, going back to school and be what she want to be, that meant so much to me, and I was just very proud of her. 
it's pretty unique because we both inspire each other, you know. Being though Alan will be the first graduate um, of the family, it pretty much, I'm so excited. I'm very much happy for him. It's motivating me to know that I have to keep pushing myself and I'll be graduating right behind him. My mom and I will both graduate in December. What's that? You know I'm going to wait. Oh, no problem. That would mean so much to my family because it's a compliment for both of us. I just tell her, like, whatever you've been through, you still got some joy ahead of you. You got things to look forward to. Saturday was our first scrimmage of the spring, and I was so excited to be out there competing with my teammates and having fun with them. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, move, 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 move. I knew my mom would be there just because that's my mom and she always there. I want to be there to support him and I love to see him go out there and perform because I know he loves to do it. He's actually an example and that's one of the things that I love. Morash, Shayon Green, Perryman, Hey, one more offense, I got Hearns. Please get your line straight. Come on, game day, game day, game day, let's go. Hey, Casey, all the way down, Casey. We got gun train right, three, Aggie Q's, ready? Knowing that my mom is in the stands, it means so much to me because I know that I have her support. It don't matter through all the ups and downs. Even if I make a bad play, I know my mom is still going to be behind me. So I just use that as like my motivation. We got two timeouts. Getting to see my mom after the scrimmage, I was just so proud that she always there to support me no matter what. I went up to her and gave her a kiss after the scrimmage just to let her know that I love her and I'm very proud that she supports me. I'm grateful for having this autobiography class because my fear paper is about letting down my mom. But as time went on, I, I didn't realize that I won't let my mom down. Whatever I do, she will be there to support me and she'll be proud. And he's definitely making me proud on and off the field. You don't know, you're doing my heart just wonderful right now just by you succeeding in your college career. And I mean, oh my God, that's just enough for me. If he don't play football another day in his life, I'm cool with that long as I see that he went forth and completed his education and could be able to move on to the next level of his life, that just does my heart great.